we have officially arrived in Toronto. Right now we're gonna rent a car because just it's just easier, man. Ubering all over the place ain't worth it. We had to come back to the airport. What do we rent a Ferrari today? Something like that? A Ferrari? <laughs> Got our car, guys. It smell like straight smoke. We ain't trying to have that. Nobody wants to go to America anymore because Trump sucks. So that's why everyone wants to come to Canada now because it's like the next best option. Yeah. Shout out to Hertz for the customer service, bro. When we walked in here, I was like, all right, Kia. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of the 80s a little bit. She says a brand new car. When you rent a car, make sure to always check for dents, dings, any of that. You don't want to get screwed. You know what I'm saying? Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Oh yeah. Ooh, sauce. All right, let's get this trip started. Right now we're pulling up to the convention center where sneaker con will be. Mary's getting a little scared that the police is out here. Did I come to you? Oh, okay. Sneaker convention? It, it's in Hall D. Oh, okay. I sweet talked my way through that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Shout out to Mary for sweet talking. Saved you 15 Canadian dollars. I'm really upset, guys, because my uh, Toronto hoodies didn't even get here in time. They so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be mad about Hall that. Hall D but I did bring a lot of like the more life stuff. I guess the, the sneaker life stuff. Find me a parking space and sign me up. That's HD, baby, that's HD. I definitely will not be vlogging with this lens because it's ridiculous. Like, does that not look ridiculous? Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's beautiful, it's beautiful. We in here. Let me try. <laughs> you guys are coming out to Sneaker Con Toronto tomorrow. The booth is back in the corner. It's right next to Private Label, right next to these key masters. I don't want nobody from Toronto saying they didn't know I was here. I just told y'all. Just come to the back, right behind. Tony and Bull. Oh yeah. So the entrance is over here. How's it look? Not bad. Okay guys, so right now we are headed to the OVO store. Try not to get ran over for the one time. But we can't figure out parking because it's just confusing. But it looks kind of empty in there. Nah. It was just more so. Like. Crazy. Toronto has like its own Chinatown. You just missed. Yeah, I missed the whole 
But we saw Cousteau, and I don't know who else was with him. Just randomly walking. Toronto just reminds me a lot of New York. You guys ever seen a black squirrel before? I wonder why it's black. Someone spray painted him. So guys, we went to this mall. It is ridiculous how huge it is, but they have so much stuff. This is the biggest mall I've ever been to. I guess it's the biggest in Toronto. It's basically like the Mall of America. They have like sections for every brand. They got Adidas. This is all Puma. It's crazy. With my friend Lisa. Excellent. What's going? What's going on? We just got out of the biggest mall I've ever been to in my life. It had to be bigger than the Mall of America, right? I don't know. It's pretty big. The we layout didn't... of Mall of America is like a circle and the Mall of America has four and this was just a line. Yeah. I'd say they're pretty close though. <laughs> Toronto reminds me so much of New York. Like it's just like Brooklyn, where I stayed at last year. It's just a lot less people. There's a lot of like crazy people on the streets. One lady was sitting in the middle of the road. What was that guy just? He was on the phone. Like, like just probably calling call the police. <sighs> Sheesh. Like right now we're in downtown. So you guys kind of get the gist of what it looks like. Wow, this is awesome. There's a dog. Uh, guys, peep that. Crazy. The one thing I gotta show you guys is how beautiful the city actually is, so just enjoy this. Question is, will I ever leave you the answers? No, 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 no. He could have sat up there. There's a railing up there. No, 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 no. Nah, I don't think he said it. Yeah, you feel the pressure, man, I know the pressure And my wifey is a spice like I'm David Beckham A lot of pent-up aggression coming out of my section OVO on me while y'all niggas was playing dress-up And I know who gonna take it far with me they right here. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why is Mary driving the car and that whole situation So I can get a discount, right? Yeah, when you're under 25, renting a car is like outrageous, so when you have AAA, they give you a discount and... They just waive the fee. Yeah, she got the discount, so she has to drive the car. I'm not allowed to. And I think I would do better driving than you, no offense. You just get too upset. I'd probably pull a Grand Theft Auto. Like, people don't... It's just a free-for-all. I'd be yelling. I'm a very aggressive, angry driver. And Mary's just calm. The Food Network is about to be dumb lit. We're going to this place called uh, Sorsi Morsi. It's like an Italian restaurant. I'm gonna switch to my phone so you guys can see. I'm not gonna bring this big camera in there because you know what it is. So, story time, guys. It is the end of the day. Now, what we did is we went to a restaurant. What was the restaurant called? The restaurant was called Sorsi e Morsi. And it was dumb fire. So basically we went in there, walked in, perfect timing right before it got packed. So we started off with some Caesar salads. Ooh. Fresh, fire, yum. And then I ordered a pizza, because I just wanted to try it out. It was artichokes and ham. Also got a pasta of spaghetti and scampi, mussels, scallops, shrimp. Mm. What did you get, meatballs, Mary? Hmm. You got meatballs? Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs, it was not, it was all right. I didn't like it personally. Then we went to a store called Labla's, it's like, Canada's version of 
I would say king supers for us in Colorado. And we had to grab some waters for the one time. Um, what else? Did you watch it? Then I call because we got a car rental and I'm like, yo, does it cost for parking? Because obviously I wouldn't think it would, it would cost money. And they're like, oh, it costs $25. And you know, 25 Canadian dollars, I keep forgetting that all day. So then we got to park, pay money, walk into the hotel. The key doesn't work. Go back to the lobby, get it fixed. And here we are. That is the end of story time, guys. Basically, I'm just going to end this vlog with my pickups from OVO and from Champ Sports today. Um, what I got from OVO. This was actually the smaller version of the store, so they have two. This was the smaller version. I don't think anyone went there today, so if you watch anybody else's vlogs, they probably went to the other OVO store. They all got the same things anyway. Picked up this white OVO cap, just kind of a dad cap with the strap on the back. Then I also got this navy tee. It says October's very own. Got a long sleeve October firm tee. Just pretty much says October firm. This, this seems to be the style this time around. Just straight October firm in the cut. I was gonna get the sicko shirt, but I don't know, I, I didn't end up getting it. And then lastly, I went to Champ Sports and I got some camouflage pants. Just some, they're just joggers, but I've been looking for a pair like this. They're only like 30 bucks, so steal. That was pretty much the whole day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Sneaker con tomorrow, make sure to show up. I said to do bunny ears on top of your head. I'm south with my girl, but in real life, you'll get your ass beat. But I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Mike. Run it. Hands in the air now.